you know, who, who, for lack of imagination or for lack of uh, acceptance of what a person is, they have to give this product a name. And uh, it's insulting, you know, to, uh, to anybody. I find it very insulting to be called anything other than... Actor. Know, actor or just me, I guess. Actor Johnny Depp always tries to keep a low profile. The emphasis on acting. But last fall, his name was in the headlines when River Phoenix collapsed outside Depp's trendy Hollywood nightclub. Well... Her book, When Heaven and Earth Changed Places, is now a motion picture, an emotion picture. Have you seen the film? Yes. I would assume it was difficult to watch for you. Very difficult. It's very painful for me to write about it, work on it for four months, and watch it in two hours. What kind of things went through your mind as you watched it for the first time? How can these people went through it? Why did it have to have to be this way? We didn't ask him for it. I'm just a young, innocent girl growing up, wanting to um, be with my family, um, take care of my water buffalo, and yeah. have my duck. That's all I want. And action! Giving screen life to Lely's life story is Vietnam vet and director Oliver Stone. There are parts of this film that are very difficult to watch, and I assume you wouldn't want it any differently. Hmm. I always feel like uh, this is the, probably the softest film I've ever done. Uh, I, uh, you know, the nature of war is always tougher than what we put on film because we, do, we don't want to offend and we don't want to shock. So to me, it's uh, done with restraint. But uh, I'm glad you feel that way because then obviously it has impact on you. I want to show the ferocity of war at the same time I want to show the gentleness of, of peace and of love because the woman is looking for love through uh, through her torture but we can't give up we must try <laughs> different skin same suffering the line i think i wrote down that jumped off the screen at me was different skin same suffering very perceptive of you. It's one of my favorite scenes in the movie, actually. I think uh, just reaches, that's a moment for me that I uh, feel very, I cry sometimes. <laughs> I feel that's a very strong moment. Lee, can you love me? Can you really love me? Playing Lei Lee is newcomer Hip Thai Lee. Hip had never acted before this film and had never even heard of Oliver Stone. Before this film, what did the name Oliver Stone mean to you? Nobody. <laughs> You'd never heard of him before, had you? No. No. Hip was selected from 16,000 Vietnamese who auditioned for the film. What made her different from the other 15,999 people that were looked at for this part? Charisma. She came on with a, she was immediately visible. She had that brightness, that spirit around the eyes, as Tommy Lee says in the movie. Uh, she had an inner strength, stamina. She had been a boat person. She'd suffered as a young girl. She'd come from that area. Uh, and she had this enormous vibrancy. She always was up. Yip Thai Lee says while she was able to act like Lee Lee in the film, there's no doubt in her mind that she would not have been able to go through what Lee Lee went through. I don't think I'm strong enough to have survived if I go through what she went through. I went through a lot, and um, compared to American audience, yes, I went through hell. But compared to Vietnamese, uh, most Vietnamese people in the village, I went through very little. And so there was nothing here at this time, get a wall. Oliver Stone has now filmed a trilogy of Vietnam films. It is a world that he may never leave. Are you now ready to leave Vietnam cinematically, do you think? Cinematically, uh, I mean, I'm, I've done um, so many other types of movies, I don't think it's fair to say I'm just obsessed by it, but I always thought that Vietnam is sort of, can become, has the potential of becoming a bit like the Western, because it, it is an American mythology, a later myth, uh, than the Western, about a mid-century America. It's about interventionism in foreign countries and, and uh, the mistake that can be. And I think it's going on in the world today. I mean, we've intervened um, eight or nine times since Vietnam, 
and I think I believe we will continue to do so in the 21st century. So I think Vietnam is truly a state of mind. It's not a uh, necessarily just a historical place. It's a continuing intervention. Oliver Stone will take a little R&R &R from Vietnam for his next two films, one of them the long-awaited Evita. And Stone also has an interest in remaking, are you ready for this, Planet of the Apes. I'm Scott Patrick. Thanks for watching Hollywood One on One exclusively here on Stars. Coming up tonight on Stars, it's The Mysterious Death of Nina Chiro and Scent of a Woman, followed by Risky Business. Then tomorrow, it's Norman Rockwell's Breaking Home Ties, Oh God, You Devil, and Pack of Lies. Stars, the all new premium movie channel. I know what you're thinking. Why a new premium channel? We went out and asked you what you wanted. I want to see the new movies. How about the hottest stars? I want to see the biggest film. Blockbusters. Just not the same ones over and over. You talked and we listened. Introducing Stars. We've got the hottest movie, the biggest names, and the best price. For an unbelievably low $4.95 per month, you get both Stars and Encore. That's two channels, 180 choices a month. Wow, what an idea. What a variety. Stars is where you'll find everything from exclusive premieres and recent popular movies, while Encore brings you the hits from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. You get Lorenzo's Oil, Son of a Woman, and The Crying Game. Sign up now and don't miss any of these fantastic movies. Just call the Stars hotline at 1-800-758-5555 to order Stars and Encore now, and you'll receive free installation. Get more of what you want for less money. Stars and Encore. Hi, I'm Scott Patrick of Hollywood One on One. He first gained worldwide popularity in the movie Risky Business. Top Gun shouting straight up to superstar status. His name is Tom Cruise, and this month on Stars will feature Cruise in his breakthrough performance. Here is Tom Cruise and his wife, Nicole Kidman, one on one. <laughs> He is second only to Arnold Schwarzenegger in worldwide popularity. In less than 10 years, Tom Cruise has gone from teen idol to the most sought after leading man in Hollywood. He's got a firm hold on Hollywood. His latest film, The Firm, has made more than $200 million worldwide. Okay, I'm more impressed with it than you are. When did you first realize that your smile wasn't like all the other kids? <laughs> Tom Cruise has been making audiences smile ever since he got his break in the business in 1983's Risky Business. There's one thing I've learned in all my years. Sometimes you gotta say, what the f***? Cruise took a risk and bared almost all in front of the camera. It was the first time he made his private life public, but it definitely wasn't his last. Turn away, Sharon, and protect the innocence of your eyes. Cruise light audiences get up close and personal in Far and Away. He did a semi-nude scene starring opposite his wife, Nicole Kidman. You know, I got up in the morning and took my clothes off and went to work and, uh, you know, just laid back, kept my eyes closed and, uh, you know, got taken advantage of. Cruise and Kidman spent their honeymoon shooting Far and Away. Kidman says it wasn't too difficult to pretend to be in love with her co-star. Tell me about the chemistry with uh, your co-star. What, what's his name? Um, uh, Tom Cruise, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you have any chemistry? Um, that I, I, I can't comment on that. Somebody else has to comment on whether we had chemistry. Because I'll say absolutely. You love me. Never seen anything like you in all my living life. We wanted to do something that was so removed from us, and this film is, that it wasn't just going to be Tom and Nicole on screen and everyone going, oh gosh, you know, that's what they do in their living room. Hmm. Now Kidman and Cruz are well established as the Hollywood couple, which means they are never far from the tabloids. Public moments are rarely private. I was curious, in talking to Kevin Costner a couple of years ago, he said he would trade everything, he would give it all back to have his privacy back. Has it ever gotten to that point with you? 
Um, I mean, you're under scrutiny a lot, um, but I think that that's one of the things that when you enter into this um, career, you have to face that, you have to think about that. And, um, and yeah, so sometimes it, it would be nice to be just completely anonymous, but I'm in a position where, where I don't have that. I mean, I'm not like Kevin Costner or, or Tom Cruise Who? in that sense. <laughs> so, um, so it's a little different for me. But, but I also think, and, and Tom is very the, is on the same wavelength with this, you know, you don't have to be stopped from doing anything because people are, they all they come up and people just want to shake your hand or say hi or there's not really um, by the public that invasion. It's more from sort of... People who are... Yeah, paparazzi sort of, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. was a decorated war vet with nothing left to lose. One last tour of the battlefield. He was a prep school student just trying to earn a little cash. I want, I want a job so I can make, you know, my <clears throat> plane fare home for Christmas. Together, they went on an amazing adventure and discovered one of life's simple lessons. It takes two to tango. All information will be given on a need-to-know basis. Hoorah! Al Pacino in an Academy Award-winning performance. If I were the man I was five years ago, I'd take a flame through to this place. Chris O'Donnell. I don't know whether we shoot you or adopt you. Not much of a choice, is it, sir? Set of a Woman, premiering in February exclusively on Stars. Don't miss the exclusive showings of Set of a Woman during the February free preview only on Stars. Now you can get the movie channel you've dreamed about for less than you'd imagine. Stars and Encore, two great premium channels, both for one low price. Don't wait till the end of the preview. Call 1-800-758-5555 now and order Stars and Encore for only $4.95 per month. And you'll get free installation if you order now. Next on Stars, it's Love for Ransom. You've got it all right here on Stars. You know what that is, Roger? That's the Matera diamond, isn't it? Oh, you recognized it. Uh, my friend recognizes any piece of jewelry that's worth more than a million. John Davidson is a professional burglar for the good side of the law. He's kidnapped. My car was at the airport to meet her. She never showed up. Peterson has got her and he's got the diamond. Get her back quick. He steals back what's been stolen, and he's got a method all his own. For an evening that will keep you on the edge of your seat, watch The Matera Target on Stars. The biggest movies and the biggest action on Stars. The following feature is not rated. Eastern and Pacific, exclusively on Stars. Hi, I'm Don, and I'm taking orders all during the Stars free preview. If you've been watching, you know that Stars is the premium movie channel that shows more movies for less money. For $4.95, you'll get stars with current films like Scent of a Woman, The Crying Game, Jungle Fever, and Lorenzo's Oil. You'll also get Encore, hits of the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Make sure you'll get a chance to watch them by calling 1-800-758-5555. If you call now, installation will be free. So what are you waiting for? Pick up the phone and call me, 1-800-758-5555. Now available. When you order Stars, you can also order The Cable Guide. It's the quickest, most complete source of cable programming information. An entire month of program listings, reviews, and more. Ask the operator for details. Next on Stars, it's Scent of a Woman, starring Al Pacino in his Oscar winning role.
The following feature is rated R.